Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Edward Vaughan and I'm from the CAD Sensor. In this session, I'm going to be doing um, a newsletter for a school, and this newsletter will be about Sports Day. Now, the main thing when you're starting off with a newsletter, you must make sure all your information is ready. So I've, so I've just typed up all my information that I want on each page into Notepad. So all of this will be for page one. There's my information for page two. Then I have information for page three as well. Page three and I have information for page four. As well as that, I also have files, um, images that I intend to use for my for my newsletter. So again, if you're doing a newsletter, the first thing is make sure your information is ready to be inserted into your newsletter document. Okay. So these are my images I'm going to be using, and this is my text information that I'm going to copy and paste into my document. So when you have these ready, these things ready, you can open up your 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 publisher. I'm using Publisher 2010. So now, please watch carefully. Now, for this presentation, I'm going to be using a template. So I'm going to choose file. Then I'm going to choose new. then now when you choose the new option you'll see a number of of types of documents you can build you can build awards award certificates banners business forms and the list goes on and on um, you should be able to build some things in in publisher but for this lesson I'm going to do a newsletter so I'm going to I'm going to choose newsletter and then from there I have a list of options to to suit my design so I can choose any of these any of these options for my newsletter so I'm going to choose something something interesting so I'm going to choose um, I'm going to choose southwest southwest so I'm going to press once and then I'm going to go over here and press create. Um, you could also double click on this on this option here but just to make things um, more simplistic I press once and then I go to create. So my newsletter template is being, is being um, formatted. Now, from, now at this stage it's always a good idea to zoom to 100. So I'm zooming so 100%. So when you've printed your document, it will look exactly like this. So it's always good to make sure when you're starting your document, you zoom up to 100%. Okay. Right. So the name of my newsletter is called um, Sports Day. 2015 and the name of my business it's a school I'll call it Bailiston Primary yep. um, my newsletter date I'll date it for um, what's date today for May May I'll date it for May the 20th yeah. Now, in this section here is where I have all my information that I put in my text file. So I'm going to call my heading 
sports day is coming up. Right. Now I can choose between having three boxes on this page but really it all depends on the amount of information you intend to have on your news on your newsletter documents if you don't have a lot of information you could just simply erase erase these boxes or some of the boxes so you could even erase that one the third one and the second box as an example but um, for now I'm going to leave it as as three boxes and if I if I need to erase any boxes then I will at a later date so right now I'm going to open my word my um, notepad documents and I'm going to copy and paste my first page text so I'm going to copy and paste all of this so again when you copy and paste first thing you do is you highlight your words so you highlight your words make sure your cursor is over the highlighted words then you right click you choose copy and then you can just minimize this for now and go to where you want the words to be pasted so I, so I want my words in, inside there right. so now I can just press paste so I can either right click and choose paste and there we are so this is my my I'm very limited my very small information so right now I could easily just erase erase these boxes because I don't need them because I don't have enough information so I'm gonna just use one text box to cover that, that page there like this there we are again please note you, you can use these points to expand your boxes all right so when you have time you need to practice because if you don't practice you won't become very efficient all right so that's my first text box and it's talking about um, the teams could even make space as well like that Okay, I'm going to insert. I'm going to insert another image. Right, right here, right there. So now I'm going to go to insert picture, and I saved my my, my images on my stick and my on UBS memory stick and it was in the folder called sports day right so and I'm gonna choose I'm gonna choose I'm going to choose winner yes it's winner just fix this how I want it to be and can just make it smaller right so here want it to come up and then you can just bring down my test to this right. can make this a little bit smaller right. yeah. let's bring this up some more like that right. so I can just leave that there like that that's fine. I can just put the colors on these. So, Mori was a blue house. Webster was a green. Sorry, Webster was a red. 
plants close to the yellow. And Bob's Dennis was the green. Okay, and then I'm going to also increase my words. I think these could be a bit bigger as well, so let's make it a bit bigger. I make them probably. Yeah, that was fine. And just like this, and it's a bit bigger. Like that. Right, so. Okay, we know at this time, I'm going to change my my text background to orange so what I'm doing here I'm pressing on my on the, I'm pressing inside my text box I'm doing I'm doing a right click then I choose format text box then I want my backgrounds to fill to be orange then press OK and there we are so that is my current design so not so bad going to bring this down some more to make it smaller like that. Right. I don't have a second headline so I'm going to I'm going to erase I'm going to erase all this because I don't have a I don't have much information to use so I'm just gonna erase all of this. I'm pressing on my text box, then I'm pressing I'm pressing on the text box first, then I press delete. Then I'm just erasing all of these as well, because I don't need them. Right, so that is first part, the first page. Now on this side I can give um, information into what will be in my in my inside story. So what can be on page two, page three and page four. I won't have any page five or six so I can just erase erase those. Don't need those. So on my page two, let me see. I'm going to have what is sports day? Uh, and also why sports day is important so why sports is important so here I'm going to call I'm going to say here um, what is sports day so I'll just make this a bit smaller choose probably nine eight I'd say why is it why is it important? Why is sports important? Yeah, I'll say why sports key just to make um, my my word smaller. Yeah. Um, do I have any more stories for uh, page two? I don't think so. Let's have a look. Um, no. So um, for page three, I'll talk about sports and team building. And page four is um, how to contact the school. So I'll just have, I'll have probably one more inside story. Um, I call it team. I call it team. The team building. Team building. Music. That would be for my page three. Because when you have your information at hand, it's easier to to know what goes where. It's easier to organize things. Uh, 
right now let's, let's change that as well to make everything look similar right. um, so I'm still on page one I'm still going through my my um, my newsletter Um, this section here, special points of interest. I can, I can just probably type here. Yeah, I think I'm going to type here. I'll say, um, Mori won the last, last sports day. Mike Burnley. Was the most outstanding, outstanding athletes for males, Tina Thompson was the most. Outstanding for females. She came from she came from Webster. Right, I think that's all right. Um, I'm going to change this insert. Go to picture and choose another image. I'll use relay. Insert. And I'll just use this image. So that is my. So this is my first page. Not bad is it? I don't think it's too bad. No. As a starter, I think it's not bad. I don't think it's too bad. Right. So this is my first page. There we are. So now I'm going on to page two. Now, if you notice, uh, page two is is horizontal because it is intended that um, page two goes over the over here. Page three is over here. And page four is at the back. So page one would be at the front on a folded A4 sheet or any paper really, as long as it can fold, be folded. So um, the front page would be page one, and then the two inside pages would be page two and three, and the back page would be page four. So now I'm going to do the same thing I did it the last time. I'm going to be copying and pasting my information. So I'm going to page two, and it's why it's what's important. So I'm going to just I'm going to just copy all of this from my Notepad documents. Right. Control C on the keyboard, or you can just use your mouse as well and hover over and press right click. I'm going on to I'm doing the same thing. Just Control V. To paste my work and everything seems to work everything seems to fall in place there my inside story will be why is sports important
Um, I'm changing this image as well. I'm going to I'm going to insert another image. I'm going to um, I'm going to use a similar image that was on page page one. I'm going to use actually no, I use this one. I use the importance of sports. So I'm going to just bring this down to make it smaller to fit on the to fit in, in its section. Right now I'm just I'm just trying to adjust the image to make it fit in the correct section. Like that, yeah, I like that. I'm not going to um, use all of this, so I'm going to simply erase all of this because I don't need it. Again, the more information you have, the better you are. But this is just to demonstrate um, basic principles in making a newsletter. Right, so I think I'm going to leave I'm leaving my second page like this. So that is my so this is page two. This is page two. Now I'm going on to page three. <coughs> okay now for page three. Going to just do the same thing. I'm going to my word my, my notepad text as I'm copying and pasting again so by, at this time or or by this stage you should know how to copy and paste Right now, I'm just typing inside each box. Nothing, nothing new, nothing different. I'm trying to make them. Um, I'm trying to get all my points across. to erase that image, I don't like it. I call this some um, subtitle teamwork. Alright, so I had enough information for, for these blocks, so um, unlike unlike my first page, I had to erase two text boxes 
but but for the past what but for these two pages um I've had enough information to use so that's that's okay I'm going to erase again this I don't need those things it's too much let's erase all this So, and I don't need those as well. So, I'm going to, so again, uh, the more information you have, the better you are. Um, if, if you don't even have information, you could even use pictures to fill out um, as, as as much space as you can. But again, this is, this is just this session is just to demonstrate um, basic principles in making a newsletter. Okay, so that is that is page two, and this is page three. So now I'm going on to my final page for my newsletter, page four. In here, I'm just going to have um, the name of my school, and then I'm going to put an address as well. So I'll put here um, again. Listen. Primary. Address. I'm gonna the address. I call it um. I call it for Maple Grove. London. And I say it's um. You be. One, two, V, two, V, F. Right. So that is my postcode. Phone numbers. I'll give us something here. I'll say, um, pay this down. I call it, I call it Bale, Bale School. gmail.com although most school, most schools don't have this but again this is just to demonstrate that's all I'm doing here okay now over here I'm going to have um, I'm going to have a picture here so I'm going to use one of my pictures use the same one right so here I'm just using the same the same one I used before These I don't need these, so I'm just gonna erase them. Um, you, yeah, for your for your school muscle, yes, I'll say um, I'll say um, the we strive, we strive, and never yield. This is in double quotes to be a bit more interesting. going to erase that all of those things and in this, sec this section this section I'm going to um, just copy this in the text same way I did before same thing you know and um, I'm just going to erase all this and do a paste in there it says if you would like to contribute to our I won't say fun day I'll say sports day here 
things used the equation below. And here I can just have a, any any whole number to be reached. And I can have my address as well if I want to. And I can have my email address and I can even put a website if I wanted to put a website I could do that as well. Address their websites. Okay, this is just to give you an idea. You could have um, you could have more images. Oh, and these I don't need those. Have your information ready. The more information you have, um, the more contents you'll be able to put on your on your slides on your on your um documents. Right. So this is just a sample of how to do your how to do your newsletter. This newsletter was about sports day. I'm just going through it to show you. Just to get to, yeah, to get you started. Alright, so again the main thing about doing a newsletter just have your information ready have your text ready have your pictures ready and then you can choose your templates all right you don't have to start from scratch you can just use a template that is found file new and choose your choose newsletters and it's all here yeah if you if you don't have a long newsletter you can even um turn it into a two page newsletter or a three page some newsletters even even have one page again it's optional please feel free to play around experiment with your ideas um, experiment with your with your creativity with your creativity and just just have fun really yeah so I hope um, this, this session was useful and this is my little a little Umbeliston primary sample newsletter. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please have a good day. My name is Edward, and I'm from the CAD Center. Goodbye.